Alright, this time the Cook Speed Shop. I'm back working on my Ford Econoline Boogie Van project. I'm in here working on the floor, getting the braces done. I got the torch out. We're ready to weld. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Everybody, I'm back. I'm working on the boogie van here. And as you can see, I've put the front fenders back on. Um, last time I saw it, I welded in the round headlight panels here. So with them in and painted, I was able to put the front fenders back on. I just got them uh, bolted on most of the way. I haven't put the hood on yet. I'm going to leave that off for a while to do the final adjustments. But I'm getting things kind of uh, seeing what i got to do here. If you look down below, you'll see... I have the valence panel stuck on here with the marker lights and turn signals. Now this is an aftermarket panel I bought on the internet and I would tell you the name of the company I bought it from but I can't remember right now off the top of my head but I, I bought it on uh, online and it was real cheap. It was less than 20 bucks. I ended up buying three of them just to have in case I want to do any more conversions. But I'm working on getting this dialed in. It fits pretty decent for a $20 panel. Um, I got to do some trimming and fitting uh, here. I'll show you later. Up in here, it doesn't fit real nice. I got to work on this a little bit. This one is a little. I got to trim and take a little cut out of here with a cutoff wheel and weld this back together to just to get the fit up a little bit better. But I wanted to throw it on and just get an idea how everything is going to look. I got the grill just kind of stuck in here, and uh, you get the idea of what it looks like. I went and I bought some new. Uh, Headlight adjusters, so I can put the headlights in. This is this is the style. They got two little uh, holes that bolt down in. I got these from Dorman. Here you can see that it is Dorman. What is this? Four two one seven one right there. But this is like for Ford, and it goes and it bolts in here on the side, and then it holds your uh, your headlight bucket goes in these little things. So. The old ones are all rusty and shot, so I got brand new pieces of these. Put them in, put the buckets on. I also bought some new headlights, bought some uh, halogen round headlights to go in here, so this thing should have bright headlights. But I've just been monkeying around with the front end a little bit, off camera, just to see how it goes. And uh, in this video, I plan on working on it some more. I don't know if I'm going to fit the valence, or I probably should get the floor, get finish the floor. I'm like all over the place with the project here. I'm jumping all around. I think maybe we'll work on the floor. Uh, i got to make a brace for that and try to get that trimmed down and start getting that fit up, fitted up in here. Alrighty, I'm back on the floor here now. And I got the uh, brace made here that's going to go in here. It's a piece of two and a half by two and a half tubing. It's going to weld right into the back brace and it's going to sit down and nest in the uh, cutoff front brace and then weld all the way around here. And that'll, uh, the floor will get plug welded right to this. So this will be uh, super strong. So I got that ready to go. But I got to do a little cutting first. I uh, was trimming the overlap floorboard off where they had that pan in here. Then I cut down in here and I noticed there's rot around this body mount just like there is on the passenger side floor. So now I've got to cut this patch out. I have a replacement floor pan that goes from the firewall down to here. Um, that I bought just in case when I was doing this, so I'll have a good piece to make a patch panel out of. Um, I'm pretty much going to come out of here. i got to drill out a couple spot welds here, probably here, and here, and here. Trim this back and then uh, take this piece out, probably unbolt the, the body mount, and then I can uh, clean all that up. And I'll weld the brace in and I'll patch that last, but I've got... It looks like water sits on both sides under the under the foot, foot wells by the body mounts and rots it out here. So that's what I'm working on. I get get that cut out, and then I'm gonna drill out some more spot welds over here. Get my floor trimmed back from my floor pan, and then just start trimming and fitting. Weld this brace in. Start trimming and fitting the pan. Get the pan down in. Before I weld it on, though, I am gonna unbolt. There's like a B&M ratchet shifter in this thing. It's bolted onto the uh, AOD here. I'm going to unbolt that while I can get to it. This is the emergency brake cable, which was hooked up to like a power uh, solenoid to pull that. I can unbolt that, swing that back over here, get that fed up through the floor where it goes. Just want to do some work, this mechanical work down here while I got the floor pan off because it'll be a lot easier for me. 
and uh, get that. The, the original shifter from the column hooks up to this piece here, which I have extra parts and pieces for. I need the rod to go back to the transmission. Then there's a long rod that goes from this side of the Z linkage up to the column, which I also have. Um, so I can get the mechanical stuff back in order before I weld the floor on just to make it easier. But we're, uh, we're getting down to hopefully putting this thing back together. A little bit more cutting and we'll be good to go. Okay, here we go. I got the uh, bad spot cut out of the floor. I haven't removed the bolt for the body mount yet because I want to get the brace welded in to kind of span this gap. I don't want to take the, the body mount out and have the body mount missing out back here and have the body sag over the frame at all. So I've got the uh, brace ready to weld in. I've used some big magnets to hold it. It's marked where it's got to be and it's sitting in the trail there clamped in. I'm just going to MIG weld that in and then I've got to make a brace across here that ties in the centerpiece floor that comes straight across and I'll tie in over here and that'll put all the bracing back into uh, where it's got to be. And then uh, after I get that, get this welded in, I'm going to go over there and remove the last section of floor panel that needs to be removed and start cleaning the edges up and getting this thing ready to fit the floor pan in. But it looks, it's uh, coming out good. I got to do a little bit of grinding, rip through some uh, spot weld pieces of sheet metal there. I got to grind all that smooth and get that ready to, to tie in. But it's going to work out good and should be uh, plenty strong, as strong as it was originally. And uh, we'll be good to go. Here's a pro tip, don't weld the vice grips to the uh, to steel you're welding on. That's, that, was, uh, that was genius. You'll have that sometimes. And there we go. I got this thing welded all the way up on the top side. I'm just going to go underneath, weld the bottom sides up, and uh, let it cool down a little bit. And we'll make this brace across here, get that tied in, and then I'll be on to uh, starting to fit this big floor pan in here. Kapow! All right, bam, there we go. As you can see, I got this all welded up here. All dirty. Got this all welded up. Then I added my uh, brace up here. I was going to make it out of uh, one by three, but I ended up capping the end of the existing brace that was cut off. It was like a weird shape, so I capped it flat, welded around it, and I welded this in here, which tied in all this, the same size tubing. So uh, now I've got all my bracing done. It looks mint, and you really need the structure here because this is the main brace going across the floor, which helps support the tunnel here with a big hole in it. But it's also the seat mount. The seat sits over this. Two little bolts go right down here on the uh, the original side. They actually got in the flange for the channel hat. They got nut certs there, so it ties right into the brace. But my seat will sit right here. I'll uh, weld some kind of plate or do something for the bolts for that later. But the seat will sit right on all this. Super strong. It's not going anywhere. This is all tied back together now. Um, I just got to do some a little bit of top grinding here to get this all cleaned up. I'm going to prime all these top surfaces. So, they, they're, so they're protected and not bare metal. And then when I drill the plug welds, I'll just grind a little bare spot for the plug welds to go to. But it's looking good. I gotta do a lot of cleanup now. 
Um, clean all these edges up with a grinder. I gotta trim this back here to get it into the to the foot area. For the floor, I mean the not the foot area, for the floor. And I replace all this where all these holes are. So I gotta draw out some spot welds and I'm gonna cut this about an inch back all the way around, remove this whole section, and that new floor panel fit right in there. And we'll trim her up and get her to go. I got the foot well here. This is ready. It's just zip screwed in place so I can work with it. Once I get it lined up with the floor, then I'll uh, stitch well along here. It's a little thin. It had some rust in the in the van that came out of, but it, it overlaps on the floor, so it'll be okay. It'll kind of overlap, and I'll just weld it where I can. This is pretty thin. It's like 20 gauge, but it's looking good. Bam! That's a win. Okay, it's a couple days later here. Uh, unfortunately, I was under the weather for a couple days, and I didn't get anything done pretty much on this, but I've got the floor pan. Uh, trim down here, trim down pretty much around where this has got to be. It's sitting up right now. It, it does push down where it's got to be. I'm going to, all these silver marks here are going to be my spot welds or plug welds actually. They go through here. Let me lift it up and show you what it looks like underneath. Yeah. So <clears throat> I got all my braces welded in. I had a, a problem I didn't realize until I went to put the floor pan in. This brace here actually sucks down because the floor pan has a dip to go around where the engine uh, cover bolt is and stuff. It's got a dip in it. So I went to put the pan in and it, it hit the uh, brace and it held it way up. So I had to take the cutoff wheel and cut the top of this off at an angle. <clears throat> and I got to get a piece of uh, flat stock and weld a new top in this brace here. As you can see, I removed a section of floor over here. I've got some of the original brace exposed here now. I got to clean up my spot welds and then I've got to clean up the overlap. I'm going to spot weld the uh, the new floor. I'm going to leave like a one inch overhang and uh, spot weld it onto the existing floor, spot weld it down through here, through all these. Um, so I've marked my panel. I'm going to drill some holes in it and uh, I'm going to primer the tops of these before I uh, weld on and then I'm just going to drill down through and clean up the spot where the actual plug welds are going to be so this won't be bare metal here. It'll actually have some protection on it. So I've got to do that too. So I've just got a lot of cleanup to work to do. I'm still kind of uh, getting over a cold so I was, haven't got a lot of things done the last two days. But um, yeah, it's coming along here. i got the pan, like I said, trimmed down. It's going to overlap pretty much most of the way and then I've still got to do some fixing here. I had the front floor pan piece I bought originally um, that I can use to make the patch down here where the front of this is missing. I've still got to remove the bolt for the body mount, get that out, <clears throat> and uh, go from there. I've unbolted the shifter from the transmission uh, bracket that's removed now, so that's good. So. I'm going to clean this up and get this thing ready to go. I don't know if I'm going to weld it on in this video. It's getting, uh, I lost two days of work that I could have used to get this thing hammered out more. So I don't know how far we're going to get in this video. I'll see how I feel here. But I'd like to get it, I'd like to get it at the stage where it's ready to weld on. And then, uh, that'd be good, that'd be good progress for me. Well, I'm one step away from getting the pan welded in. I had bought this upper floor pan here, which went all the way up to the firewall. Obviously, I didn't need it. I just cut the bottom piece out that I needed. And uh, I've got that in here. Um, I've got spot welds drilled out to plug weld into the brace underneath. I just got it temporarily clamped in place. <clears throat> I'm going to skip weld it around the edges. I got about a half inch overlap onto the existing floor. And that'll make a good repair. I'll seam seal the bottom edges of it. And I needed to get this in because the, the, the uh, big floor pan will go, will go over the top of this and sand them down and weld into that. So I got that ready to weld on. <clears throat> I, I put primer on the uh, the tops of these bare metal pieces so they'll be a little bit protected. I still need to bend up a top and weld on to that brace where I cut the top of the brace off. That's good. And then I just got to drill out the uh, the plug weld holes in the the big pan and then that'll be ready to clamp on and uh, do the whole thing, get the whole thing welded up. But I'm not gonna, I'm running out of time. It's late tonight now, I'm still kinda like half sick, so <clears throat> I don't wanna burn the midnight oil too long. Uh oh, there, so uh, I think I'm gonna call it about here with this. I'm pretty much uh, 
just ready to weld the whole thing together now. So it took me a whole lot of time to get this all fitted up, make all these braces and draw out the welds and trim and, you know, mark stuff and out. So I got a lot of time in this, but this will be able to weld all this right back together. Nice. Weld this, uh, foot, uh, step, foot step well in here. And then I just got to rebuild the corner of it here that was rusted out when I cut it out of the blue truck. And then I've got to make the panel behind there, which is going to be a little interesting because it's got raised ridges like that there. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to make that yet. But at least I can get the main section of the floor done here. In the front of the van, I got my headlights installed. I got my new headlights in. I got the trim rings on. You see these silver screws here. I got brand new adjusters all put in. So the headlights are all in there. I got my lower valance panel, like I showed in the beginning of the video, just sitting in here. This is going to require some trimming and fitting. I got to pie cut some of this, grind some of this here. I'll be doing that probably in a future video to get that fitted in. But I just wanted to throw the grill and the marker lights in and the headlights and get the look of it of how it's going to look on there so you can see it's got the early front end pretty much all installed now perfect and uh it's going to come out awesome so i'll go ahead and i'll tinker around on that floor like off camera in the next video i'll come back probably be uh most of the way welded up with that and then we'll just keep working away at this thing and hopefully i feel better so i can make videos and not have a two-day down period in the middle of my video because that kills production I don't get sick that often, so I guess it was, uh, I guess it's all right. So that's it for now. I'm going to go inside and uh, go to bed, get ready to go to work tomorrow. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe. I'm putting out videos Wednesdays and Saturdays, building all kinds of cool stuff here at the Quick Speed Show.